descend on the area because this is the site of the annual Welland Steam and Country Rally. Now it's not the Steam and Vintage Rallies are ten a penny. Well, there are quite a few around the country each year, but there are steam rallies, and then there is the Welland. What makes it different? Well, there are obviously steam engines, as the name implies. That you would expect. But the Welland offers those that come along much, much more than that. And in 2012, the 48th rally did not disappoint. Each year, the rally runs for three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This has always been over the last weekend in July. Until this year, that is. This year, because of the weather in July, the rally had to be postponed until September. But the usual theme of great family entertainment was maintained. The arena displays are the focal point for most rallies of this type and Welland is no exception. Although the very active working field and other practical demonstrations here are excellent places to see vintage engines, vehicles and equipment actually being used. We try and set it out that it's a nice progression from the entrance, you're greeted as you come in by an organ, giving you the music, we've got the steam engines because primarily we are a steam engine rally and then it goes right through to the vintage fun fair, all the various sections, the stationary engines, the military, the cars, the motorcycles, a little bit for everything, all the family, the craft market, and it's tried to work out to keep everything to flow naturally, that people can enjoy it from the minute they come through the gates to the minute they leave the gates. Therefore, the Welland is planned and organised to provide an unforgettable experience, and that is what you get. One of the differences between this rally and most others is that all of the different elements that make up the rally are all within easy walking distance. The arena, the static areas for the steam engines, vehicles and static engines, and the fairground, as well as the working field. So the public can easily get to see everything that there is to see in a few hours, and all of this makes for a good show. whilst driving around the arena does provide a great spectacle, one of the aims of the rally is to show, particularly the young, 
how these vehicles and machines were used, what they were for and how they worked. And over in the working area, that's exactly what they are doing. Various tractors are making use of the main field area to show their capability. There are different types of implements in use here. This 1953 David Brown crawler is quite uncommon, but it is interesting to compare this type of ploughing, in other words the plough being pulled behind, much like modern tractors do today, to the method used by the steam ploughing engines. Steam engines were used in various ways in agriculture, but for breaking ground and ploughing, the main method was to place a specialist engine at either end of the field with a cable running between them. One engine winding in whilst the other pays out. In this case, the fowler we saw earlier at one end and another fowler, Linky, a 1916K7 at the other. The engines generally had a drum on the underside powered by heavy gearing. The implement was then pulled back and forth across the field. In this case, it's a cultivator for breaking the ground. But the power of a steam engine allowed multiple furrow ploughs to be used like this one, in use at a recent ploughing match. All of the static displays were available to view, wander along and learn something about vehicles and engines from the past. But there were also all sorts of entertainment to suit the whole family. Some on stage magic provided by Mr Alexander's travelling show, a mixture of magic, juggling and all round entertainment. To the dancing girls on the stage in front of the steam engine driven 98 key scenic Gavoli organ, owned by the master of ceremonies here, John Saunders. The girls entertained the crowd throughout the day, just as would have been the case at Victorian or Edwardian fun fairs. The old time fair is in full swing, with all the rides powered by the dynamos of the showman's engines, as again they would have been in the past. The arena. To start the parade of the engines, Fantastic Alan Prout boys. brings in the Burrell 1911 showman's road locomotive Nancy, towing two funfair trailers, frogs, as she would have now. done back in the 1920s. shape of frogs. That's again nice to see Nancy doing the job she was designed for with two trailers on behind it, two fairground or showman's type trailers on behind it. I remember one year they sent Nancy out across the common to tow in some of the fair and that indeed was a magnificent sight as well. Compo 
ground engine pulling hard. Almost all types and make of engine are represented in the parade, including these Foden steam wagons. The steam wagons were the next step in the evolution of road steam, in effect providing the link with the combustion engine trucks of today. There's also a Sentinel steam wagon here, which you will see a little later on. Probably a scammer, I would think. And of course London. And that is the Duke of York. Absolutely beautiful um, road locomotive. Fowler design. And you'd see these pulling probes a hundred tons. One, maybe one on the back, giving it a shove as well. Or double-headed as they call it. That done, there is an equally impressive exit out of the arena. New for this year is the GWR, the Great Welland Railway. A length of standard gauge rail line has been laid and using this is Willie, Bill Parker's shunting engine. This working demonstration of how stone was crushed, moved, laid, and then rolled into a usable surface was also new for 2012 and was undertaken by members of the Road Roller Association. This towed or trailed combine is an Alice Chalmers All Crop 60, dating from around 1948 or 1949. Before combines, towed or self-propelled were available, the main method of harvesting a cereal crop was with a binder and one is also working in the field. So if you didn't get to Welland this year, you missed a really entertaining and informative weekend, providing a great family day out. This is a different sort of steam, vintage vehicle and country rally, with something for everyone. And in 2013, it will again be taking place over the last weekend of July. So, if you're interested in steam engines and vintage vehicles, and more importantly, how they were used, or just want a great day out, then make sure you get along to the Welland next year. <laughs>